washes away the dust and the dirt. Yeah. And then once again, that innate predisposition to recognize the truth, it, it illuminates, it comes out. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, just, uh, most people, I think, like, I've, I've interacted with a lot of, uh, you know, uh, atheists, a lot, a lot of my friends, you know, like, what's my Whenever I explain to them, you know, like the arguments between yeah. Christians and yeah. whatever, they're like, it makes sense, yeah. but they're like, I'm not ready yeah. to take that step because it's kind of like your desires yes. are, are, like, as, as a human, you have to be safe for something. Yes, um, absolutely. And, and leaving, leaving how to desire for something that's just a concept is yeah. hard. Very hard. You know, but once, once it, it really makes sense, it just keeps ringing in your mind. But Allah says this in the Quran, He says, you know, they take themselves as lords. Yeah, as gods. Hawa, hawa, the, the hawa. Yeah. What, whatever they desire, uh, yeah. it becomes what they do. So they are a slave, but they're a slave to their ego. Absolutely. They're a slave for their desires. And you know, Allah says in the Quran that they exactly. Allah says that they, you can either enslave yourself to a hundred masters, or you enslave yourself to the one Allah. And then that, that's when you're truly free. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Because look, everyone that thinks they're free. They wear the clothes they wear because the fashion dictates to them what is acceptable. They eat the food because of what the fashion or the time, the culture tells them to. Even their thinking on aspects of morality are heavily influenced and governed by their society. They step out of the line and they'll be ridiculed and they don't want to be ridiculed. So you are a slave, whether you like it or you don't. Right? Right. It's either you to yourself. Yeah. Of course. Or to your passions, to your desires. Or to the creator, right? Yeah, yeah. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's a good decision to make. I like your tie, by the way. I like your dress. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm Palestinian. I'm Palestinian. What about you? I'm Palestinian. I have so I need you to talk to someone, but uh, without camera. Can no problem. Yes, of course. Yeah. I'll give you two minutes, five minutes, inshallah. Yeah. Two, two minutes. Oh, no problem. No, 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 no. Sorry, excuse me, just for one second, my eyes are like really, uh, sorry, but it's not I've seen all of you guys on YouTube. Uh, yeah, they spread the word well. You're included. I, lo I love the projects. These brothers involved. Yeah, yeah, I think. You know, it's a very admirable. When you love the thing that we are embarking on, yes. Why don't you join us on that journey? We, my friend, we love the same thing. We have different approaches. So what do you? Well, love? I love knowledge. Knowledge. Love I love seeking. Knowledge. I love. I love seeking knowledge. I love. So I love fueling the soul. No, no. Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge is very important. Yes. But what is more important than attaining knowledge is to act upon it when you receive. It's the combination of reason and emotion. Of course. But if you don't act upon the knowledge, yes. then the knowledge is useless. Yes. Yes. You need to understand. And how how can we act? We emotionally contemplate on it. What? Well, emotionally. Reason can exist. Reason rationally. Can, yes. Rationally. Emotions lead to the rational rationality. Well, emotion. If you're if you're overly emotional, then you yes. may be thinking not rationally yes. or reasonably. Yes. But you need to build a, a relationship between the emotional and the rational. Look, we are emotional beings. But if we uh, if we make decisions based more upon emotions, then we are generally likely to get things wrong. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying that they need to inform each other in a symbiotic relationship. But the but the intellect and the reason should always be paramount to the emotion. If one allows the emotion to override so we the reason, agree upon, my friend. good. So my answer to you, my question to you is, knowledge, I agree with you, knowledge is very important. But if that knowledge doesn't benefit you, if you don't act, then it's useless. Why would it stop you benefiting you? What would, what would, within the human mind, what would stop you acting on the knowledge that you talk about? Many people do not adhere to or respect or follow knowledge that is beneficial to themselves Why? because of personal desires, inclinations, Would you not argue it's emotions. the ego? It can be the ego or it, or it can be something that perhaps they find difficult because of uh, dependency, for example. So the ego prevents true knowledge? It can do. Yes. It can do, yes. So my point to you is, look, people know 
alcohol damages the body. What else does alcohol do? No, no, I'm just giving you an example. But what else is it? Yet, most people in this oh, no, country... Well, sorry, we uh, sorry, no, okay. departed we'll from the conversation. No, it's, okay. it's always a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Sorry we'll if I was back. rude and uh, no, left no, the conversation. No, it's right. it was really, really nice to, to meet you. you. Just you just Remember, Senor Dua, inshallah. That inshallah. keeps us sincere uh, and accepts what we do. And the people benefit from it, inshallah. Inshallah. Take care. Take care. Inshallah. So, in Islam, we believe that knowledge is important, yes. but the acting upon that is more important. No, because within Islam, you have a framework where knowledge, all knowledge ultimately leads to Allah. Yes. Yes. So, but can knowledge exist outside of Allah? Of course not. Because, sure? Allah, because Allah is the anchor of everything. You need Him to be. Well, but what about the concept of knowledge? What's your name, sorry? Alexei. Alexei, We've Abbas. debated before. Have we really? We've debated okay. before, my friend. I yes. think you perhaps weren't dressed so uh, smartly at I, that time. I was a different okay. man back okay. then. Okay, different man. Jeez. Look, Alexei, the point I'm trying to make to you is, from our paradigm... Paradigm? God, yeah, from our paradigm, what we believe, right? God always existed. What defines a paradigm? Uh, God himself. Yes. For us. So he needs to exist for the paradigm to exist. Uh, of course, for everything to exist, God has to exist. What is knowledge absent of Allah? There is no knowledge that is absent. Yes, because you need it to be that way. Or it could be. No, but you need it in no, your no. head. Hold on a second. Look, you've raised a point. It could either be a figment of my imagination, or it could be the reality. How is it the reality? No, I'm just saying. Like, those are the variables, aren't they? But where does it come from? No, no. That's a separate question. That's, that's, that, where it comes from informs what it no, exists. Fundamentally, what it exists fundamentally, either God knows everything or he doesn't. There are you, no, you there's no other context. You need God to know anything or okay. not to know anything. Um, but, but Why don't you know anything? Alexei, that doesn't change what I just said to you. It does. No. It does. Either, there is a relationship either, with God. either God does know everything or he doesn't. No, Either not. God exists or he doesn't. That's a, that's you're, a, you're already placing yes, me within yes, your paradigm. That's fine. No, but you see what you're doing. Do I accept that? No, no, but I see exactly what you're doing. Yes. Because you're already placing me within the paradigm of your own beliefs. Yes. What I'm arguing is that there are different axioms for which to argue these beliefs from. So within your paradigm, God has to exist. Yeah, of course. But I'm saying when you offer a different paradigm where God doesn't need to exist, you understand the meaning of God himself. Uh, see, Alexi, the point I'm trying to make to you here is this. There are, so let's let's take the question let's take the question a step back further back right yeah. let's step right right back to it okay either God exists on a on a, on a, a logical argument not from my not from my uh, concept but as a rational argument no Hold on a no second. it's only a rational argument if you make it a rational Alexi just bear with me yeah. is there a reality other than God existing or not existing always exists. Is there a reality? What is God? No, 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 no. Alexei. Creator. We're not going to have a fruitful discussion. My... If no, we... no, 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 no. Answer, answer my question. No, no, Alexei. We're not going to have a fruitful discussion. If we start why, don't going... you, why don't you like to answer this question? Either. I'm asking you, is there another, another paradigm? And I'm asking, I'm, as, I'm asking you a question. What is God? God as is conceptualized generally throughout humanity. Where does God come from? That's a, that's a, that, that's a, you're now moving the goalpost. No, no, where does he come from? Does God exist? Prophet Muhammad came in 7th century AD. Where? Alexei. Where, where did God come Alexei, from? Alexei, the first question that has to be addressed, has to be, what, what is, it? is does God exist or does God not exist? As humans, what do we react to? Uh, you're talking like the, the Riddler. No, you're talking I'm in, a few in, in, in riddles now. As humans. Does he talk like that with you? He does? Do you understand what he's talking about all the time? Be honest. Be, be honest. As humans, what be do we honest. react to? Be honest now. I, if I don't, I ask him. Ah, see, look, she doesn't even understand you. But why does she? She why? has to ask you to I clarify. Do why, why does why does my relationship with her affect this argument? That we it, have doesn't, now? it doesn't I affect understand. the relationship. So why is why it doesn't, affect, it doesn't affect the argument? But I'm just saying, if your own you're partner, derailing, my friend. If your own partner doesn't understand what you're saying, what hope do I have? I we I are talking about you reason. You said if you my don't, friend. I have to ask. We are we are delving in conversation. In... I always understand. We're talking about logical, reasonable points. Why does my relationship with her have anything to do? with Alexi. In Waffle, <laughs> there is reason. Watch your back, you'll see that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
you want there to not be any coherence in that. What's your point? Hey, 